Welcome back to CBS 4's The Business of Lobster. Florida's lobster season came to an end earlier this month. It was a difficult season for Keys fishermen thanks to Hurricane Irma. But there was one saving grace, a country with an insatiable appetite for Florida's spiny lobster and a willingness to pay top dollar to get it. That country, China. Of course, before you can sell lobster to China, you have to catch them. In the pre-dawn darkness, the crew of the lobster boat G-Force is busy loading traps and supplies. Hurricane Irma decimated the commercial fishermen in the Keys. Gary Nichols lost nearly 80% of his traps in the storm, and it was two months before he could start fishing again. On this day, his daughter Kelly, who normally captains his other boat, will serve as a mate. She's been hauling traps since she was a teenager. As the boat pulls out, the first streaks of light are seen in the distance. Slipping through the narrow arch of the Long Key Bridge, Nichols comes out on the Atlantic side of the Keys. By the time the sun is up, they're pulling traps about five miles off of Marathon. One crew member hooks a buoy and wraps the line around a winch, which pulls the wooden trap onto the boat. The next crew member power washes the trap, pulls out any lobster found inside, tosses in fresh bait, and drops the trap back into the water. The lobsters are measured, too small, and they have to be returned to the water. Female lobsters also have to be checked to see if they're carrying eggs. If they are, they too go back into the water. In a 10-hour run, they can pull in as many as 800 traps, and that could result in up to 2,000 pounds. But today is not going to be a very good day. They're expected to pull in about two or 300 pounds. But given the Chinese New Year and the high prices, nobody's complaining. There is a rhythm to it all, a repetition slowed only by the need to repair traps. But you're always reminded that delays can cost money. the dock in one of these lobster boats cost me a thousand dollars just to start that boat up get on it and go out for the day because once those guys are on it they're getting paid for the day crew members make between 150 and 200 dollars a day plus an additional cut depending on the size of the haul the, the average pay for a mate on a boat on a lobster boat and you put it out there's between 35 and 50 thousand a captain makes uh, a, probably a 30 30 percent more after finishing a string of traps the boat speeds off to the next set of buoys offering the crew a few moments to catch their breaths, rub tired legs, or just have a cigarette. It is hard work and it is tiring and it's sometimes it gets back breaking and you know you want to quit or you want to go home but just keep going and have fun and enjoy enjoy it on the water. By 5.30, they are back at the dock where Larry Yee's crew is waiting. They will sort through the lobster, weeding out those they don't think will last and make the journey alive to China. How many generally survive? What's your percentage? Uh, it really depends. It really depends on the time being. Uh, right now, in the winter time, uh, these lobsters are very solid, hot sheltered And uh, we have uh, probably, in average, probably 98%, uh, 99% survival rate. He shows us those that won't make the trip. Like this uh, lobster here, uh, she's, she's healthy, but she's a little soft. Gotcha. Okay, and uh, normally when that happened, our whole protein, the whole protein concentration was not high enough to, for us to export. So that's the reason why we kick them out. Packed inside a container, a lobster with a soft shell will end up being attacked and devoured by the other lobsters. You see, this is cracked already. She's about to mold. She's not good enough to ship. Before Yi takes away his newly acquired lobsters, Nichols weighs them. Turns out he had a better day than he expected, nearly 450 pounds in total. A few locals show up hoping to buy some of the spiny crustaceans before they are sent off to China. They line up here every day to buy lobster and stone crab. How many lobster are you looking for? I think four. Four? Okay. The dockside rate? $13 a pound. Thank you. 
Once Nichols is done, the day's catch is loaded onto a truck by Yee's crew and driven 20 miles down the road to a facility Yee bought to handle his lobster operation. We are the biggest lobster facility in in the U.S. for spiny lobsters. Here in this massive tank, Yee can hold as many as 120,000 lobsters at a time. The water temperature is about 65 degrees, and the lobsters are kept there for 24 hours. The idea is for them to purge themselves of all their bodily waste. They're shipping that, uh, better that way. This is like a giant colonic tank then. <laughs> yes. After 24 hours, the lobsters are moved to these green tanks where the temperature is down around 55 degrees. That's putting them to sleep. Once they soak into uh, cold water, cold salt water, they're kind of like not, not that active. When you, the, the stuff that you saw in the boat, they're like flapping. They're flapping, but now they're, they're kind of like uh, calm, calms down and, 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 and stuff. And that way, that way they're, they're easier to, uh, to, to ship. So they, they, they lie long down. Beautiful lobsters. Beautiful lobsters from the Florida Keys. Go go high, go go jump, you know. After the lobsters go into hibernation, they are packed overnight in styrofoam boxes with straw. Stacked on pallets. And loaded onto a truck. Where they are driven back up the Keys into Miami International Airport. By the next morning, the pallets clear security and are loaded onto a Cathay Pacific cargo flight to Hong Kong. Lobsters is always a high-end seafood. It's a gourmet seafood, and uh, it's not an everyday product. So who are your average customers who are eating it? Uh, wealthy people, wealthy, wealthy Chinese. And, and China has a lot of wealthy people now, <laughs> right? Especially for the past uh, 10, 20 years. While most of it goes directly into restaurants from Hong Kong to Shanghai, Yi has a plan to introduce live lobster tanks in high-end markets. That will come next season. We will, we will directly supply our further spiny lobsters into the uh, the, 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 the Chinese version of whole food in, in China. Up next on the business of lobster, a slowdown in the Chinese economy and a budding trade war with China. These are the issues the lobster men and women of the Keys are now facing.